Hello and welcome to how to install Valhalla MMO plugin. So first thing you need to do is download the plugin. You just go to this link that I leave down in the description and you hit download and well, it will download the plugin. The next step is to put it in your plugins folder. So as you can see, if you have your Minecraft server set up, it doesn't matter if it's on hosting or if it's your local server, you go to your Minecraft server directory and then go to plugins folder. And all you have to do is take the plugins and drop them in the plugins folder. Now after that, all you need to do is start the server or restart the server if it was already online, wait for it to load up and we'll join the game and test if the plugin works correctly. So if you are hosting a server on your PC and you haven't port forwarded it or done anything, the default address to join on for your server is localhost and you click done and as you can see there is your server and you just join it. Let's make this bigger and wait for it to load. And as you can see, if Walahala MMO is working, first thing that you get when you join a server is option to pick your race. So as you can see, you can be dwarf, human, elf, and each has their benefits and downsides. So I'll just be human because they get benefits and they don't have any downsides. Of course, if I'm not wrong, I haven't looked at the configuration yet, but you can configure and add your own custom races. But yeah, let's be a human. And you need to double click because that's like a confirm. So you pick a class and then you click again that you want to be that class. I mean a race. And there's the next screen, the classes. So you can see you have warrior, barbarian, rangers, alchemist, enchanter, blacksmith, miner, farmer, and terraformer. Those are like uh, the base classes of the plugin. Again, I think you can add your own if you wish. But yeah, for that, I would advise to take a look at the official plugin documentation. But for example, let's say we want to be alchemist. And you double click again and you are now alchemist. And yeah, that's that, the plugin is installed. So I don't have any other plugins than just the Valhalla MMO, but as you can see, all three plugins are there. And yeah, and Valhalla trinkets, well, they work as normal. So next thing that you would like to do is set up a resource pack. So resource pack is not needed, but is recommended for this plugin for it to everything function correctly. So let me just open myself quickly and let's go over not to OBS to console op. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I did not put an asterisk before, but we made ourselves operator. And as you can see, we will get to that part. So as you can see, uh, to set up a resource pack, you do this and resource pack setup and that will set up a resource pack and to apply it you need just to restart the server i don't think restart will work so let us just stop the server and go to server folder and start it up again because i'm local so you know the restart doesn't work it basically closes the game but as you can see you let it load and you let it load. I don't know why it's taking so long now, come on. You can do it. You can do it, we believe you. I believe in you, people watching this video believe in you. Come on. Okay, it loaded up or not. Hello. You see, that's like the thing. Okay, it loaded up. When you want something to work, it doesn't work. When you don't want it to work, it works. Anyways, you join the server and you get the prompt that the server recommends the use of a custom resource pack. What? Would you like to download and install it automatically? I don't know if that's Minecraft or 
the plugin author playing around, but I never seen that. But anyways, you click yes, and you see this amazing screen. I'm using Lifecraft modpack. And yeah, as you can see, now when you go to trinkets, which you access by clicking anywhere outside of your inventory. So, as you can see, you get this slot and suddenly you shouldn't see uh, the food items it displays. Again, that's my modpack doing. You will just see the names of the slots. But as you can see, it is now styled. And, for example, if you go to skills, this is where you pick your skills and it's acting on a bane. Uh, hold on, let me just switch to Minecraft, to normal Minecraft, and we will be back. Okay, so we are back again. Let's go to multiplayer, to our local host server that should show up. And as you can see, the resource pack downloads, and you are in the game. And as you can see, we don't have those items from the sides, and when you click on anywhere outside your inventory, this shows up. And as you can see, it now shows ring. Let me just turn off pull tips. So again, just ring, ring, necklace, armband, and armband. So that's how it looks like. And the skills. Skills look like this. As you can see, you have your general skills. Like there's a lot of skills I'll let you explore, but like power, smithing, enchanting, alchemy, mining, heavy armor, light armor, archery, heavy weapons. Uh, light weapons, farming, landscaping, and yeah, I think that would be all. But anyways, so just a short tip, how do you level up those skills? It's basically you do the corresponding uh, action to level up those skills. So for example, we want to level up our mining skill. Of course, what you would go do is just mine ores, if I'm not wrong. And then when you want to level up, you go here and you click on the skill up. And as you can see, you get the message, you unlock Sifter, you start finding rare minerals in rocks and ores like coal and diamond to give more enchanting experience. And for example, as you can see, then you have other buffs, Blast Mining, TNT is 54% more, more powerful and you also take 50% less explosion damage from TNT, then rare minerals become again, we unlock that. Or I think, yeah, you can upgrade that skill if I'm wrong, yeah, refiner. And Blast and Fissions, you get 20% more drops from TNT Exploded Blocks. So yeah, as you can see, you can upgrade and you need experience and the levels. So levels you get by just, you know, mining. And yeah, the plugin is a bit more complex than it looks like, but you will get a hang of it. It's pretty interesting. And for example, for trinkets, I can't show you right now because I'm not familiar how they are all crafted. But I talked to the mod author and we have come to a conclusion that if you want to see the recipes, you can use wall recipes. And if I'm wrong, there should be another command. Oh, no, right. I have actually official build. So on my test build, let me just quickly show you. We need to wait up. Come on. Okay. So this is our official server. If you want, it's bpsrival.quest. You can join. Well, not yet because it's not out. But uh, this plugin is running a modified build version from the outer. And as you can see, when you do wall recipes, there should be recipes show. Yeah, as you can see, as admin, I can delete, modify recipes, and yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. But if you build up yourself, like I'm doing right now, and yeah, you use wall view recipes as a player without OP status or permission, you will just see the recipes, for example, how to craft, I don't know, Bind wooden shovel. So, for example, you need a wooden shovel and leather, and it's crafted in, as you can see, crafting table. And for example, furnace recipes, it shows furnace craft heat and iron ingot. I'm sorry about my pronunciations. So, you need to uh, smelt iron, and then you need to smelt iron again to get the heated iron ingot, which is needed to create uh, the sword. 
Again, the plugin author is working on official like recipe book that will be more clear. So again, everything will be changed maybe by the time you are watching this video. But this is just a general introduction on how the plugin works and basically how to install it. So yeah, I guess that will be it. I hope you successfully managed to install the Valhalla MMO plugin and that you will have fun with it. And I don't know, that would be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, I guess watching, liking maybe, sharing whatever you do, you know what's best and have a nice day and see you guys next time. Bye.